Hello everybody and welcome to my new PlayStation 4. <laughs> well, it's not really new, but um, anyway, I hope this is all working. I hope there's no weird sound effects going on in the background um, or anything, but I got this PlayStation 4 last year around October and finally just opened it the day before I have to move because I really can't think of anything else to do at this point and I wanted to play Horizon Zero Dawn. So, let's hop on in. Let's see if I can figure out how to use a PlayStation 4. Alright, I'm excited to play this game. Just so you guys know, I've been wanting to play for since it came out. For, forever. I'm super excited. And I wanted to get the beginning of it and just say hi to you guys before the whole thing started, but... Yeah, buddy. We're going to a place where there's... Freaking machine animals and Alloy looks like the coolest protagonist ever. So I'm super excited. So pretty! Wow, this game is really pretty. Look at his eyes! What's that now? Don't like the cold? She's so After cute! Day, we have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. So, you're not- this is- she's not your daughter? Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. Oh, so that's us? Us? To uh... us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air. Water, earth, and steel. <laughs> yes! How did that even happen? It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. Yeah, it's okay, I got it, Dad. be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. I got it, Dad. Because you're basically Dad at this point, I think. Even if I'm not your blood. I'm a sturdy baby and stay in that package. You wrapped me up really well, Dad. Well packaged baby. Hi, Matriarch Tirsa. What is she doing here? Aren't we outcasts? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? Why are we outcasts? What happened? Every baby deserves a name. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. <laughs> so you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, 
All mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! So Aloy, not Alloy. And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. No! So we like the one lady, but not the other one. The other one's a jerk. I won't even let a baby get blessed. What a jerk. Man, see, this is why I'm glad I started the recording beforehand, because if I'd have just waited to, like, get to this screen, we would have missed out on this. At least I would have had to, like, restart or something. But, oh my gosh, let's do this. Um, normal. Yeah. We are the cutest baby child ever. Uh oh. She's not allowed to go talk to the other kids. Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some mom. Hmm? She wants a mom. Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children. Come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. I don't know how you could do that to a kid. Oh, come on. And dad's gonna have to save her. Children are very sturdy. It's actually pretty scientific. Their bones are very, very, um, bouncy. They don't break bones nearly as often as adults do in certain Ross! situations. Down here! Ross! It's been a long time, Ross! baby girl. From the past. How do we how do we do things? Mm -hmm. Go into the game. I guess it'll teach me, right? Look at her hair, it's gorgeous. Oh, oh we're Batman! That's what we are. We're Batman. Batgirl. Looks tight, but I can get through. Okay. Oh, um. But do you wanna go this way? I did it. Oh, okay. But there's a way over here. There's something over here. Is that the way I... It's not the way I came, is it? It's just a water. Okay. It's just a water. Uh -huh ho ho This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. 
it's so cool to like play a game or read a book that like looks back on the past like on what is basically our current time and see how the developers or the creators or whoever whatever view how people would see our stuff now or then you know in their world how they view our stuff in their world I feel like I should have a search function, but I don't seem to have a search function. At least not yet. I'm always curious if games are gonna hide stuff in the beginning. Ross said never go in places like this. Well, we're kinda but stuck. I have to find a way out. We're kinda stuck. Yep. So is this even, this was apparently more advanced than we are currently now, maybe, or? Looks kind of, to be honest, it was kind of Mass effect -y. What would happen if the Mass Effect technology was allowed to decay like this? You know? It'd be cool. Can we punch this, my girl? No? Our baby fists are not strong enough? I will stop searching around. I don't think there's anything to find, really. At least not yet. <laughs> Why is it shaking? I'm not appreciative. There's something up ahead. Don't tell me some, you know, it better be like a thing, like an immobile, inanimate thing. I'm not feeling up to uh, fighting a robot. What's that? A robot god right now. Dead person. What? Oh, it is a dead person. I was actually gonna say, I was like, oh, there wouldn't be any dead people left. But I was, at first, I was kind of surprised that we weren't seeing any. Like, de Ooh, there's like books and stuff right there. Old, old lab machine. There's something shiny there. What happened? Oh, we had like, um, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I was like, <laughs> freak out. So at this point in time, in the future or whatever, they had like brain implants. Don't do it! Don't do it! Stop! No! Putting a six-year-old in a place like this, oh my gosh, the trouble she could get into. Just put it in your pocket. Brave child. Oh! Is there still salvageable Lights. data? Everywhere. How does it do this? Toggle the focus by pressing down. Okay. Okay, okay. Can I inspect it? Faro? Oh, good. Now it's telling me where to go. Okay, so when we're in focus mode, it's, um... Move a lot slower. Okay. I was expecting it to be the um, whatever triangular thing we saw. But so there's dead bodies here, even though it's been like a bazillion years, and that body shouldn't even be a skeleton, really, because it's been super Another exposed door. to the elements. Closed. But you know, plot. Maybe this device I found can help. Oh ho ho! You think so, child? Right, activate it. Mm -hmm. How do I get it open? Um, do I? Mm. Mm. More lights. Can I go into this room? Oh. Such an inquisitive child. Are you gonna move? 
It's a really overfed rat. Uh, darn it. Electromagnetic security mechanism with standard holograph UI. Um. It changed color. Okay. It just pressed buttons, that's all. I guess I hope at this point if it's like just your basic lab facility, it wouldn't be trying to murder me. The door changed color too. Yes, we're on the right track, my child. SRC. Black quartz encryption. I've rooted the message to your hologram for viewing. Okay. That told me nothing. It's fine. I'm not bitter. Oh, wait. Anything new? No. There's something over here, but it does look like it wants me to go down right now. Oh man, this is gonna be like the nicest- oh my gosh, look at that. She's like falling down the steps, that's adorable. Like, like getting her balance, you know? Look at her. That's adorable. She's so adorable. Uh oh. Another dead that's body. Sad. This one's, um... Oh. It's got a device. Oh! See, this thought. is more like what I would expect from like an instantaneous, like, uh, Pompeii sort of a thing. Like a burial of some sort. You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but... We can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Oh my gosh, I am gonna cry. Oh my gosh. So sad. It's so sad with kids. Like, when you get to be like a jaded adult, it's one thing, but like. Like, when you're playing a jaded adult, you just kind of want to punch him in the face. But when you're playing a kid and you, like, can, you know, you, you know it. Like, everybody kind of, it's like the fear, even if, like, you were lucky enough to, like, have attentive parents. It's like the same fear that everybody had. And then if you didn't have parents like that, like, you know exactly what she's going through. It was either something you feared or something you went through, you know. So everybody kind of knows, has an idea. Oh, I was like, I thought it was a torch, <laughs> and then it moved. It's a rat. This is so cool. So it was way higher tech than we than we are currently, and at least at, in the past, it was. Why did they die here? Oh. What happened to them? Yeah, these guys like died. And were instantaneously covered by something. That one had enough time to wake up and panic or scream. This one looks like they died in their sleep. Oh. And Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. Never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? <laughs> Stupid. Well, 
What happened? Oh, is there a log over there I can access? Oh, wait. And pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. I mean, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And oh, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace. This one. die in their chairs and others did not. Is handling this remarkably well. Oh, I did! He found me. Frost found me. Down here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, mother be praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Meh. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Yay! That's all I wanted, Dad. Also, I want a mom. Mom would be nice. You guys wear those furs all year round? Or 
or is it always? It must be always cold. Holy shit. What do they mean? Take your bow. He could just take it off in her sleep. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. It's a good thing they have written language still, apparently. The wilds in can English. Be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Okay. This is so fun! Good. Now eat the berries. Eat them. There it is. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Okay. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers' embrace. Embrace. The Nor tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Why is he an outcast? And is his daughter dead? I assume so. And then where is his wife? Also dead. The mom's always dead. And my mom's dead. Further down river, and my father? Find a herd uh, maybe of I don't have one. And I will teach you how to hunt. Whoa, why are, are we hunting dangerous? machines first? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. You said it was harder to fight machines when I was a baby. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. Why do we hunt for machines, too? You can't eat them. There. Now stay low. They don't want No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Okay, okay. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. I do as you say, tutorial dad. if you like don't <laughs> in the tutorial it's like Come fail this way. the slower you move the quieter you'll be and crouched walking is quieter than upright so if i actually do move really slowly it will help it's a good thing they avoid the tall grass That's the last of them. Let's move on. Can I have this plant? No. Can I have this one? No. Can I not crouch anymore? Yay. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Oh, I can hear the sound of my feet. of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. Future love interest some colony. 
kind of weird because he's probably like 15 years older than me. Maybe 10, because she's 6, right? So he could be like 16. There. See them? These are called striders. Why are we hunting here still? Ha! Get! What? Oh, we're not. Why'd gonna... you chase them all? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. If the. the tribe is here, we should be elsewhere. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. The marks. Okay. How do I run? Oh. Thank you, game. Look at her little feet! <laughs> oh, I was There's about to hurt. click out. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with. Or we'll warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. I'll try! Okay, hold the down button. Where, where's hey, that? Throw a rock near me. Where? I don't actually know where dad went. Aloy, throw a rock near me. Where? Aloy, throw a rock near me. Oh, there you are. Aloy, throw a rock near me. Come, girl, it's safe now. Ow. Ow. Man, you land hard. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Oh. Metal shards and wire. Good. Now, gather stalks of ridgewood from the plants over there. Over here? I do as you say, Dad. Use the stalks wow, as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. Okay, um use it to Oh, I see. Okay, just crafting down there. And I have to hold X. Oh, oh, X. Okay, okay so I can still move in this menu. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Freaking glare is the war is the worst. Oh, crouch. Here, stay low in the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. The Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your prey. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Um. The cat is 
monster on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. That plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Should get out of the way. That was scary. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. Okay. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy. Quick. Wait, what? If we help them, we'll get in trouble. Probably. Getting saved by an outcast is uh, not preferable to death in many cultures. Was that a boy screaming or was that an animal screaming? I'm running as fast as my stubby little toddler legs can take me. Fireflies! Slowly, quietly, so I can sneak past. Thanks. Can't let them see me. Boy, boy, oh boy, I'm going to save you. I feel like that, 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 
Strider might see me, maybe. I need to see their path. Yeah, you do. What for a second? Can you help me? Whoa. Almost there. <coughs> All right, where do you go? Just back and forth. You're an excellent watcher, guaranteed. in a circle over there. So when this one moves, I will go to that bush. Uh, my hair matches the color of these plants. No wonder I'm so good at this. There he is. Hi, boy! I feel I would feel more secure if this it's probably gonna go into a cutscene, but I kinda wanna wait for this watcher to move. And there's one over there too. Oh my gosh. Cutscene, please. Hey! back up to dad. He's over there. This one's looking for me, though. Stop making that noise. Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. Oh. Boy, save me. I, I just want to... Boy! Seal your lips. They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart.
I know the way. Then you could do choose the fist and ally will confront the challenge choose the brain and she will use her insight to find a clever less obvious approach choose heart and ally will express compassion or give voice to her deepest convictions um i think she'd be more I, i'm tempted to do the heart route but i think she'd be more in, i actually feel like she'd be more inclined to be violent as a six-year-old but maybe after today she she'll be a little more likely to use her brain to solve situations My mother. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. <laughs> Follow? Me? Follow me? I know exactly where I'm gonna start training. Training montage. Dad, I'm 
dad's probably gonna die to make him have some sort of character growth or something. I better get a dodge ability. He's getting grayer. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving, and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Uh, apparently in this world we talk to ourselves quite regularly. Level three, dang, I'm good. Um. But, whoa, okay, that's cool. Um, I think once I figure out how to save, I'm gonna do that. But this was, this was really cool, I'm excited. Now, I think we're starting to get into things. I wasn't sure we're probably gonna be doing the proving first but something's gonna go wrong and then we're gonna have to go on like a journey of self-discovery i don't know i'm excited though i'm excited to explore this world that has like machine animals and like has somebody named alloy or alloy alloy in it like she's so i've legitimately been wanting to play this game because i'm kind of in love with her i think she's like the greatest thing ever and i'm really excited to play so i hope you guys are too let me know what you think um if you want to see more let me know if you're not so interested let me know and i'll just play this on my own <laughs> but yeah i appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did we'll be getting into more actiony things later but you got to get the story down first so anyway yeah uh thank you guys again and i hope you enjoy it and i will see you in the next one